What's up guys, in this video we're going to cover how we have redesigned this Shopify store, we're going to cover every element that we have added for the higher conversion rate and if you own an e-commerce store this video is going to be highly useful for you because you're going to get some advice that you can apply to your Shopify store to increase your conversion rate. So the first thing that we have done here is that you can see how we have squeezed down the header part and what you get by that is that you get more real estate in your product page so that you get to pull your more important information earlier in the customer journey so things like add to cart things like product description and all that stuff so there's really no need for this header to be higher than this and that way you show more important information earlier in the customer journey then the next thing that we have done here we have added this announcement bar which goes enjoy free shipping on orders of 80 dollars or more shop now and what you get by this is you increase your aov because your customers are now going to add more products to the car so that they achieve the free shipping that you have promised and therefore also increase your conversion because once they get the free thing more of them are going to convert then the next thing that we have done here is that we have set this image as a one by one ratio and what you achieve by that is more real estate is the same thing as the header you get to pull your more important information more up in the customer journey so your customers see your most important information as soon as possible next thing that we have done here is we have added these chevrons on the images if your customers are constantly clicking on these things and you can see that by the heat maps it's a good sign that it's important for them to see more images in order to place the order and when you have these chevrons what you achieve is an easier navigation for your customers so that they can explore between images more easily and therefore you get to increase their perceived value of your product so that you increase the conversion rate the next thing that we have done here you can see this is the casual reviews section but what's important regarding it is that it's specific a lot of you guys just state a rated 4.8 and you don't say how many reviews or you just say how many reviews without what's the actual rating and when you're being specific you are appearing more credible more trustworthy because you are transparent about the stats so this also helps with the conversion rate and also what you want to do here is you want to underline this review section so that they know when they click on it they will get scrolled down to the review section where they can explore other things a lot of people click on this thing and they expect that but if you don't have that you are not meeting their expectations so you decrease your conversion rate also i wanted to cover the overall design of this product page you can see this product people are buying because they want to preserve their luxury bags so they're shopping on their luxury websites and then after some time they come to this website to buy this that will help them preserve their luxury bags so what we wanted to achieve with this design is to have the very similar feeling and the design of the luxury brands for example you see this brand and you see this one this is Hermes and we don't want our website to deviate from that we want to make our website and brand feel like an extension to all these luxury brands so that when they're buying on that website they know that this website is kind of an extension and an accessory that will help them with preserving that bag so it's very important to keep your things aligned with how your customers are shopping so the next thing that we have here we have the description here but what's important here is that you want to make your text easy to read and very easy to consume and how you can achieve that so whenever you are writing your text you want to go to this website i will copy this text and go to the Hemingway app and when you paste this text or when you write it you can see on the right side you have the readability level it's grade 5 at this point which is good you don't want to go above that grade the readability basically tells you how hard to read your text is if it's hard to read a lot of people will just give up reading and therefore you will not have the chance to persuade them with what you wanted to and so for that reason you want to keep your readability level as low as possible and especially if your traffic is coming from the social media because people are lazy they don't want to read hard to read text or a lot of people just don't know about the words that you have in your text then the next thing that we have here is these color swatches this is also very important it's way better if you have color swatches than the rectangles just stating what's the color like brown white uh, deep blue and stuff so if you have colors it's just going to be easier to navigate and you're going to increase the perceived value because they look just way nicer and your customers will enjoy exploring all your products and placing the order with you then here what we have and this is super important this is the cta anchoring it reduces the friction of your customers to buy from you so how painful will it feel to buy from you it's way less painful to buy in installments they're paying it all at once so when you have this they know that the purchase is just not going to be as painful you can also have things like guarantees free returns or if you have a free shipping and therefore you will decrease the friction so that you increase your conversion rate 
Then the next thing that we have here is add accessorize. We have the another product here. They can just click on this button here and they will add this to the car. And this works very well if you have a promotion that goes enjoy free shipping on a certain threshold so that the customers know that they can add accessorize to buy more and justify it in their brain that they bought it because they've got something for free. In this case, the free shipping. You also want to keep this product relatable so that it makes sense that they buy this product along with the one that they're looking at. So then we have some of the important information here, stuff like shipping and delivery, gifting, material, dimension and care. You also want to have this uh, somewhere above default. This helps with bringing the clarity because a lot of your customers will think when I will receive this product and you want to keep it very clear when they will receive the product and other information that's important to them. Then below the fold, we have some of the benefits. This is the benefits section. You can just slide to the right and see all the benefits of this product. This way you increase the perceived value. So how much they feel like they will get when they buy your product. They will also understand what they will get. Then here we have the video section. It's a video explainer. You just click on the play and it starts playing. This also helps with increasing the perceived value. And it also clarifies what the product is about. And if your production is high, like in this example, you are going to increase your conversion rate because people will start feeling more confident to buy from you and they will know that this is the thing for the luxury bags so more of them will place the order then here below we have the review sections a lot of you guys have this they're just a normal thing then on the bottom we have the faq section and this is super important a lot of you guys don't have this here you want to address every objections that your customers have on their mind when they land on your product page when they land on your product page they have a set of questions that you want to answer and frequently asked section is the section that will help you with that it's basically a salesperson on your website which handles all the questions that your customers have not having the frequently asked question is just the same as not having the salesperson in the retail store what you also want to do here which is the 15th point is that you want to prioritize the questions that are of the highest importance to your customers not all the questions are the same you want to show first the things that your customers are most commonly asking and therefore when they scroll all the way here they will see this question the first you will bring more clarity and you will increase the conversion rate then on the bottom we have the others also bought what you want to have here is these buttons you want to test the add to cart versus the view product button and see which one gives you a higher revenue per session so that you keep it on your website so that's it for this video i hope you find it useful if you have any questions let me know down in the comments and if you like to receive my free trainings click the link down below and watch the next video to increase your conversion rate